state the audible range of frequencies of sound that can be heard by a normal human ear. B. Sound waves are longitudinal waves that are made of compressions and rarefactions. State in terms of the behavior of molecules what is meant by number one, a longitudinal wave, number two, a compression, number three, a rarefaction. So let's remember what is a longitudinal wave. This is how we can express a longitudinal wave. Parallel lines that are close to each other in some regions and away from each other in other regions. The regions where lines are close to each other are compressions. And the regions where lines are far from each other, these are the rear fractions. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. They need medium to transfer. Solid liquid or gas, like air for example. When sound waves move in air, it makes air molecules to vibrate left and right parallel to the direction of the wave. This is a typical longitudinal wave. Sound waves are like any other waves. They have wave speed, wavelength, and frequencies. The human ear cannot hear all sound waves. They just hear a certain range of frequencies between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. So, to answer the first question, the audible range of frequencies are from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. To answer question B, a longitudinal wave is a series of compressions and rarefactions where air molecules vibrate parallel to the direction of the wave. A compression is a high air pressure region of the longitudinal wave where air molecules are close to each other. Rarefaction is a low air pressure region of longitudinal wave where air molecules are far apart from each other. These are some direct definitions. Question C. State the difference that a listener will feel when the following changes happen to a sound wave. Number one, when the wavelength increases. Number two, when the amplitude increases. According to the general wave equation, which is V equals lambda F, when the wavelength increases, the frequency will decrease. Of course, if the wave speed is constant, and we know from before that the frequency controls the pitch of the sound, so if wavelength increases, the frequency decreases, and the pitch of the sound will be lower, so the listener will feel lower pitched sound. What if the amplitude increases? We also learned from before that the amplitude controls the loudness of the sound. So when the amplitude becomes bigger, this means the sound will be louder.